projections. This video I'm just going to show you the curvature tool. Now personally I wish it was called the curve tool but uh, anyway it's actually very similar to the pen tool but there it is down there it's got some very similar icon. Now this is in Illustrator CC 2014.2 it's the October 2014 release. Right might as well start just quickly go through some of the points anyway. So just click on the artboard click on the artboard it creates a straight line and then you can just drag around and you'll see it curves that's what it is a curvature tool so creates another curve and you can drag that around drag that around drag that around sometimes it's very easy to get to, but you can add as many points but sometimes you get that sort of overlaps and it makes it slightly hard to manipulate but anyway I'm certain with practice just Right, once you've actually got this, you've got the entire closed path now. Just click on here to actually add new points. So you can just click, add another point, and you can move that around. You don't have to keep it in the same position. You can also move that closer to the this other point. Drag that around, or it can go that way, or you can move it towards that point. Of course, it modifies the curve as you do that. You can move that again up to close to there. You can actually, some of these points, you can actually move very nicely towards the other point without hardly changing the curve at all. Some obviously are better than others, so you move that around, it hardly changes. A slight change there. You can also delete the point, so you just go over to the point, select that point, and then do delete. And then it gets rid of that. You can also expand it, so you go to the object menu, you can expand it and just turn it into a normal path, which maybe some people might actually prefer. I find this quite great for abstract design. So I'm just, you know, you can, so basically you can just add in lots of points. So I'm just going to add a couple of points here and sort of drag out certain points and just very quick, intuitive, and very easy way of creating some abstract designs. Now, once you've actually decided that that's it, you can also save it. Just drag it over to the libraries and I'm just going to drag it over there. I've got a few other ones earlier that I created earlier. So just the artworks just save there. You can also do the usual sort of, so I'm just going to scale it. I can hold the Alt key down, duplicate it. Still can be used with a curvature tool. All the points exactly the same. So I can get rid of that. I can also go over here, just drag that out. Likewise, I've got other ones that I created earlier, similar sort of thing. They're basic from the library. Just very quickly drag them out and use the shapes, obviously again and again, and they're still editable. You can also save it to symbols, so you can just drag it over the symbols and just put it in the symbols there. Drag that out, and if you expand that, you can actually use it still again as a curvature tool. So that's quite useful. Right, so once you've done that, you can also, I'm just gonna just go back there now and just select I don't want to go into there, so let come out of that. And come out to isolation mode. I want to go to Vex and Extrude and Bevel. Click OK. So you've got this design now. You can go back to the curvature tool and it's still curved, so just modify that. You can actually see the extrude changes. And again, at that point, you can also, if you decide, you can save that as a new artwork to the libraries. So, just going to do that. Rendering artwork. Obviously, it takes a few seconds to add that. Right. Well, once it's done that, it's been stored. And you can, of course, use it again. There it is. I hope you found this a quick run through of the new tool of interest. Thank you much.